So I'm going to talk about how we put together the plumbing for the water tower. I've laid out all of the pieces. Uh, not shown would be the Popsicle Sticks tower that you're going to use to support that. You'll want to make sure that's done first as you cut your tubing so you get it all the right length. The connector we want to use on the, on the lid, we need to be able to seal to the inside of the lid with an O-ring, and then we'll screw this pipe thread onto a, another uh, fitting on that side. So we need to modify two things. These little nubs have to come off, and maybe the ones you get don't have those, but the ones I got this time have these little nubs that are in the way. And this is just a little bit longer than we need. You have two pieces of two feet length of tubing. At some point, you're going to need to cut one of those to get a short segment. You need three segments total to do this. We have the fitting that we earlier showed you how we had to trim the nubs off so it would fit inside the lid. You may or may not have to do that depending on the lids you get. Uh, first thing I want to do is put Teflon tape on the PVC pipe threads. I wrap them about one and a half to two times around. The next thing we want to do, I've given you two O-rings, a small one and a large, a, a thin one and a thick one. The thin one we'll put on the inside. Uh, neither of these are the perfect size. If you had the perfect size O-ring, then we'd use the same size in and out. But for what we've got today, that'll work. I'm going to put the, the nipple here with its small O-ring through the hole that we drilled in the lid earlier. That O-ring should rest on the bottom surface. And then next, we're going to attach this O-ring. This one's a little tight, so I just roll it on. And it kind of turns itself inside out. And then finally, we assemble this piece with the Teflon tape, it should spin on easily, and you want to go until you start compressing that bottom O-ring, and that will create um, a seal. We're actually not sealing on the pipe threads, we're sealing on the O-ring in this case, so that's a pretty good seal. Once that piece is done, you can check its fit inside the bottle. Put your finger over it, fill up your bottle, check to make sure it doesn't leak. This uh, fitting actually has a thread for a while and it just rotates into the pipe with a little bit of force. You want to go until the last two ribs are covered. You may have to give it a little squeeze as you rotate and those handles are why I thought these were the best ones to rotate. That's a nice seal. Now to our bottle. I'm not going to show you all the rest, but following the path down, this fitting will go into the bottom of this pipe. Make sure you trim it to length so that when the top bottle is in the tower, it fits nicely. That right angle will help us come out uh, with a short piece to our valve. You want this valve far enough away from the tower that students can get their hands around it, two hands to open and close that without disturbing the tower. These two fittings will need to be Teflon taped and that piece will go to the end. 